Since we don't want to get caught, we plan ahead, are we crazy or what? We plan ahead, are we crazy or what? Hi, I'm Jennifer with Self Reliance School, and today I'm getting ready to can some fresh pineapple. So I thought I would show you a few different ways to cut pineapple, then show you how to can it, and then also show you what to do when you have a couple of different sized jars in your canner. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is skin and cut your pineapple. I'm going to show you two ways to cut a pineapple, but the first thing you're going to do for both methods is to cut off the top or crown. Use a sharp knife for this. Here I'm using a butcher knife. Okay, the first method is pretty straightforward as we're just going to use a knife to go ahead and cut the skin off the pineapple. Work your way around until you have removed all the skin. Then remove the bottom of the pineapple. I'm using a cut resistant glove and I can't recommend these enough. They saved me a number of times because pineapples can get slippery. Go around the pineapple one more time cutting out any eyes you might have missed. Then quarter the pineapple. Remove the core from each wedge by slicing it off. Then cut your wedges in half and start cutting your pineapple into one inch pieces. For the second method, I'm going to use a pineapple core. I've already got the top cut off of the pineapple, so I'm going to twist the core into the pineapple. The core that I'm using is an OXO and has a ratchet type function, so I don't have to really bear down when rotating the core into the pineapple. Once you have the flesh removed, then go ahead and cut your pineapple into one inch chunks. Before we water bath can our pineapple, we want to wash all of our jars, lids, and rings. You don't need to sterilize your jars for canning pineapple. However, you need them to be kept warm. You don't want to put cold jars into boiling water. So if you're used to and are in the habit of sterilizing your jars, it's a good practice to continue because this keeps your jars hot while you prepare your pineapple. I place my jars in the oven on 350 degrees for 10 minutes to sterilize and then turn the oven down to 200 to keep them warm. We're going to hot pack the pineapple in light syrup. Bring five and one fourth cups of water to a boil and add two cups of sugar. I have about 14 pounds of pineapple here, which will yield roughly five and a half quarts of canned pineapple. Heat your pineapple mixture for about 10 minutes on medium low. Now it's time to load our jars. Here I'm using a slotted spoon to load my pineapple into my jars. I'm also using this canning funnel which makes loading jars super easy. For pineapple, we want to leave one half inch headspace after we pour the syrup over the pineapple. So now I have all my jars loaded. I'm going to pour the syrup over the pineapple with a ladle leaving one half inch between the food and the top of the jar, which is commonly called headspace. I'm using a headspace tool to be sure I've left the proper amount of space. The next thing I want to do is remove any air bubbles that might be in the jars. So I'm using the other end of the same tool to remove air bubbles by sliding it down into the filled jars. Be sure to wipe all of your jar rims so that the top will form a good seal. Carefully place your top on your jar and then the ring. There is no need to warm or simmer your lids. Ball now recommends just placing them on your jars at room temperature. Now it's time to load your canner. Place the jars in carefully. Your canner should be filled with water already. Remove or add water as needed so that when your jars are placed in your canner, they are one to one and a half inches below the water. Bring your water up to a boil and then set your timer. Okay, so now we need to talk about different size jars. You need to set your timer for the largest jar, which in this case is a quart jar. So we need to set our timer for 20 minutes. After the timer goes off, let your jar sit for five minutes in the canner, then remove them carefully with a jar lifter. Leave your jars on the counter to cool for at least eight hours. Check to make sure the lids do not pop up 
when you apply a slight pressure and then remove the rings. Here you can see how hard my water is because the lids were wet when I took them out of the canner. If this happens to you, just wipe them gently with a towel that's been dipped in vinegar. Check again to make sure all your lids have a good seal. Now I have my own canned pineapple to use in holiday recipes or other special occasions or even to use when pineapple is out of season and super expensive at the store. Be sure to click through to the blog to find a recipe for pineapple jam. Take care until we talk again.